Surprisingly, the vice president did not go either. Can you believe that? I think it's about time that Vice President Yemi Oshibejo is impeached. It is well known in all democratic countries all over the world that the primary job of the Vice President is to attend funerals. <laughs> Why didn't Oshibejo show up? At least he will have read his speech properly and saved the presidency from the embarrassment that uh, the defense minister caused him. Oshibajo's cover was that he had his uh, previously scheduled medical checkup in Lagos the same day. Can you believe it? What is more important? Is it attending the funeral of the only man protecting you from unknown government or taking care of your health so that you live long enough to be 69 years old like um, <laughs> Balatinubu? <laughs> what is the choice, you know? Anyway. We got a new reason why Buhari did not show up. It came from the one man known by his official name, the presidency. <laughs> I'm talking about the great Gaba Shehu. Look at it. Because he doesn't like this idea of closing roads, security men molesting people, innocent people on the roads for the president to have the right of way. Yes. Why didn't he say that all this while, eh? And I've been wasting my brain cells trying to figure out what happened. How could it be? <laughs> the president is somebody who is so concerned about the safety and well-being of ordinary Nigerians on the streets. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Presidency. You see, you see, next time, tell us as soon as possible, you know? Nonsense squared. Bugari is concerned about our safety and well-being, but he will not talk to us. When soothing words from him could, could calm us down and make us feel safe and a little well. Have I said nonsense before? <laughs> I can say it again. Nonsense. Nonsense. Nonsense.